Evaluating limits means to determine the value that a function is approaching at a certain point. When evaluating limits, we first check to see if the function is continuous. If we find that the limit is continuous at the point where we are evaluating it, we simply substitute the value and solve the function. Here are the examples. Limits of y raised to pi minus 8y raised to 3 plus 7, y is approaches to 1 half. So, first, we substitute the value of y, which is 1 half. So, it will be limits of 1 half raised to pi minus 8 times 1 half raised to 3 plus 7. So, 1 half raised to 5 is 1 over 32, and 1 half raised to 3 is 1 over 8, and 8 times 1 over 8 is equal to 1. So, the limits of 1 over 32 minus 1 plus 7 is equal to 193 over 32 or 6.03. Limits of y raised to 5 minus 8y raised to 3 plus 7, y is approaches to 1 half is equal to 193 over 32 or 6.03. Limits of 10 plus 3y raised to 4 over y raised to 3 minus 7y raised to 2 plus 2y, y is approaches to negative, two, negative 3. So, first, substitute the value of y, which is negative 3. So, it will be limits of 10 plus 3 times negative 3 raised to 4 over negative 3. Negative 3 raised to 3 minus 7 times negative 3 raised to 2 plus 2 times negative 3. So, negative 3 raised to 4 is negative 81. And negative 3 raised to 3 is negative 27. And negative 3 raised to 2 is positive 9. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So, 3 times negative 81 is 243. And 7 times 9 is 63. So, the limits of 10 plus 243 over negative 27 plus 63 minus 6 is equal to 253 over 96 or negative 2.64. So, the limits of 10 plus 3y raised to 4 over y raised to 3 minus 7y raised to 2 plus 2y, y is approaches to negative 3 is equal to 253 over 96 or negative 2.64. Limits of x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 plus 3x over 10x plus 5, x is approaches to negative 2. So first, substitute the value of x which is negative 2, so it will be negative 2 raised to 5 minus negative 2 raised to 4 plus 3 times negative 2 over 10 times negative 2 plus 5. So, negative 2 raised to 5 is equal to negative 32. And negative 2 raised to 4 is negative 16. And 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 6. And last, 10 times negative 2 is equal to negative 20. So, the limits of negative 32 minus 16 minus 6 over negative 20 plus 5 is equal to 54 over negative 15 or 3.6. So, the limits of x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 plus 3x over 10x plus 5, x is approaches to negative 2 is equal to 54 over negative 15 or 3.6. Limits of square root 3t plus square root of 5t plus 1, t is approaches to 3. So, first substitute the value of t, which is 3. So, it will be limits of square root 3 times 3 plus square root of 5 times 3 plus 1. So, square root of 3 times 3 is a square root of 9. 
and square root of 5 times 3 plus 1 is square root of 16. Square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 16 is 4. So, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, the limits of this, the limits of the square root 3t plus square root of 5t plus 1, t is approaches to 3, is equal to 7. Next, the limit of the square root 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7. First, substitute the value of s, which is negative 7. It will be the limit of the square root 9 minus negative 7 minus 4 over 2 times negative 7 plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7. Now, let's evaluate the square root of 9 minus negative 7. It will be the square root of 16 and 2 times negative 7 is equal to negative 14. And the square root of 16 is equal to 4. And once we evaluate 4 minus 4 all over negative 14 plus 14, we will get the limit does not exist. And we will use a table of values. First, what is the table of values? A table of values or graph may be used to estimate a limit. If the limit of a function at a point does not exist, it is still possible that the limits from the left and right at that point may exist. So, the limit of the square root 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7 from the left, we will get the value of our x, which is negative 8, negative 7.5, negative 7.1, negative 7.01, and negative 7.001. And we will substitute the value of our x to our equation. First, once we substitute the value of our x negative 8, we will get negative 0 0.061552. And for negative 7.5, we will get 0, negative 0 0.062019. Negative 7.1, we will get negative 0 0.062401. Negative 7.01 we will get negative 0 0.062490 and negative 7.001, we will get negative 0 0.062499. And for the limit of the square root 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7 from the right, we will get the value of x which is negative 6, negative 6.5, negative 6.9, negative 6.99, and negative 6.999. Once we substitute the value of our x, first, which is negative 6, we will get negative 0 0.063508. Next, negative 6.5, we will get negative 0 0.062996. Next, negative 6.9, we will get negative 0 0.062597. Next, negative 6.99, we will get negative 0 0.062509. And for the last, once we substitute negative 6.999, we will get negative 0 0.062500. So, the limit of the square root 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7 from the left is equal to the limit of the square root of 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7 from the right. Therefore, the limit of the square root 9 minus s minus 4 all over 2s plus 14 as s approaches to negative 7 is equal to negative 1 over 16 or negative 0 0.0625. Next, the limit of the square root x squared plus 3x plus 9 as x approaches to 2. First, substitute the value of x which is 2. So, it will be the limit of the square root 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 9 as x approaches to 2. Now, let's evaluate it. 
2 squared is equal to 4, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, the square root of 4 plus 6 plus 9 is equal to the square root of 19 or 4.3589. So, the limit of the square root x squared plus 3x plus 9 as x approaches to 2 is equal to the square root of 19 or 4.3589. Next, the limit of negative x plus 3 all over x minus 5 cube as x approaches to 5. First, substitute the value of x which is 5. It will be the limit of negative 5 plus 3 all over 5 minus 5 cube as x approaches to 5. We simply evaluate it. So, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. 0 cube is equal to to zero. As you can see, our denominator is equal to zero. So the limit of negative x plus 3 over x minus 5 cube as x approaches to 5 does not exist. So next we have limit of a function square root of x minus 3 over negative square root 2x plus 7 plus 5 as x approaches to 9. Substitute 9 to all of the x. So we have square root of 9 minus 3 over neg negative square root 2 times 9 plus 7 plus 5. So square root of 9 is equal to 3. So 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So our number 18 is does not exist. So next is we have limit of a function 12 minus 7x raised to the fourth power plus x cubed over 6x minus 7 as x approaches to 4. Substitute 4 to all of the x so we have 12 minus 7 times 4 raised to the fourth power plus 4 cube over 6 times 4 minus 7. 4 raised to the fourth power is equal to 256. 4 cubed is equal to 64. So, 7 times 256 is equal to 1,792. So, 12 minus 1,792 plus 64 is equal to negative 1,716 or negative 100.94. So next we have limit of a function 2y cubed minus 3y squared plus 4y plus 1 over y squared plus 5y plus 6 as y approaches to 5. Substitute 5 to all of the y so we have 2 times 5 cubed minus 3 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 plus 1 over 5 squared plus 5 times 5 plus 6. 5 cubed is equal to 125 and 5 squared is equal to 25 so we have 2 times 125 minus 3 times 25 plus 20 plus 1 is equal to 196. 5 squared plus 5 times 5 plus 6 is equal to 56. So we have 196 over 56 is equal to 7 over 2 or 3.5. Thanks for